Well, we are in the throes of raspberry season here on the homestead, and today we're going to see if we can make our favorite drink out of all these raspberries. So we are thinking if we can make this into this, we might be able to save a little bit of money. So this is a super simple raspberry syrup recipe. You need six cups of sugar, eight to nine cups of fresh raspberries. You can use frozen as well, it really makes no difference. Two thirds of a cup of lemon juice and one cup of water. Now basically what you're going to do is all this gets mixed into the pot. I filled the lemon juice a little full for her. <laughs> I'm also very messy, so. Uh, basically you wanna mix all this into the bowl, stir it up, and we're going to let this sit for two hours before we uh, cook it to make our syrup. It just kind of allows some of the juices to come out naturally and uh, allow that syrup or that sugar to break down a little bit. So one thing that I will say is this is very similar to a Ribena. Now, many people are familiar with Ribena more so than raspberry syrups or things like that. This is just the brand that we happen to be able to get at our local grocery store. But basically what we're doing is making Ribena, except instead of using black currants, we're using raspberries. Although in the long run, our hope is to make blueberry, black currant, all sorts of different syrups to make into drinks because that's what we love to drink around here. So mom, can, while I'm mixing, can the raspberries break? They certainly can because the hopes is by the end of this, those are all going to be mashed up mush and not recognizable anyways. Oh, well, that's good. Well, as always, time gets away from us around here. So we're in the middle of cooking dinner as we're finishing off this uh, raspberry syrup. So our jars are in the oven, sterilizing at the 225, and we've got our lids in our water. But the big thing here is it is time to get this syrup boiling. It has been sitting for actually about three hours now and we're going to get it boiling and then you need it to boil for about eight to ten minutes. Use your discretion, you want it to break down as much as possible. Then basically I have a pitcher with my cheesecloth in there, elastic band, and we're going to strain that in and then we're going to jar it up. So it looks sad, but it's going to taste amazing. So we ended up with uh, three pint jars and then a half pint or a 250 ml jar which isn't too bad. So each jar here that we buy for $5.50 Canadian is uh, one liter. So we basically made 1,750 mil or one and three quarter liters. So that's not too bad, it's a little bit of savings. Jury is still out on whether it is as tasty. So we're going to do a taste test. We're going to mix one glass with this, one glass with our homemade stuff and we're gonna see how it does. Here we have the two kinds. This is our store-bought and this is our homemade. I've done two tablespoons in each and I'm gonna add one cup of water and we're gonna taste test these suckers. I'm gonna taste test them. So I'm gonna start with the um, store-bought one. This one's very strong. We only did a cup of water, which we usually do a little bit more. Time for the new one. So this one's stronger but this one's sweeter, which I like better. And I also like the taste of the homemade one better because it's more of a raspberry flavor. Time for the expert. Way stronger than we normally make it with only one cup. Way fruitier. Very interesting. Now, the one thing I will say is the store-bought one does have other stuff in it. Uh, that would not be in our homemade one, so uh, that's probably uh, doctoring the taste a little bit. And I get to go last, so I've already seen the reactions, but just to uh, keep it consistent here. The purchase one first, very used to that, that is a little stronger than we usually make it. And now for the homemade. That one I find is almost more refreshing because you get the berry flavor, but it doesn't have the syrup flavor. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but this one tastes more syrupy than this one. So, interesting. So basically that was the test. I think it passes. I think it's something we will continue to do because this is something we use as a substitute for sugary pop type drinks. Um, now, like I said, the store-bought one does have some artificial stuff in it and some things that we don't even know what they are. So we really want to get away from that. And that is why we do what we do and why we grow as much food as we possibly can. 
So to finish off this video, we now have the jars in the water bath canner. They need to come to a boil and stay in there for 15 minutes. And then we're going to just let them cool down before we remove them and all will be good. And we'll store those for uh, winter and we'll probably make some more, I think. So thanks for staying with us for this video and staying right till the end for our taste test, because that was the most important part, I think. And uh, stay tuned because we've got a lot more uh, preserving content coming as we get into the throes of uh, gardening season here on the homestead. And canning season. And canning season. That's what I mean by preserving. Oh. <laughs> I still have so much to teach my children.